All right, so now we want to talk about short-term borrowing because we are eventually going to have to pay back that thirteen thousand eight hundred and ninety-one thousand four hundred that we borrow in July. So, what we're going to do is we're going to select row thirty-two and insert a row, and I'm going to call this cumulative borrowing. And in D thirty-two, I'm going to set this equal to. C32, plus D30. So obviously it'll be zero in May, but then we'll drag that across so you can kind of see the cumulative borrowing on what's happening uh, over time. So the cumulative borrowing is 105200 over the periods of time. Um, but what we want to do is capture us paying that back. So what we're going to do is an E30, where we had calculated this if function before, we had a zero there if it were false. Well, what we're going to do is modify that and say, well, if there's money that needs to be repaid, then we're going to repay it. So I'm going to click inside the function. I'm going to change zero to be the following. So it's going to be minus the minimum of, so it's going to be then D32, the cumulative borrowing number. So it's either going to be that number or going to E29, the unadjusted cash balance, and we're going to subtract that from, whoops, my apologies. So E29 minus B34 anchored, because we have to maintain that minimum acceptable cash. So we're either going to pay everything off or pay everything off to the point where we still have cash in the account. So now I'll hit enter. We'll accept that correction. And we're going to drag that across. So now you can see that in August when we have enough funds, we pay that money back. And we're back to square one in terms of our borrowing.